Art Critic What is Art Critic? Art criticism is responding to interpreting meaning and making critical judgments about specific works of art. Art critics help viewers perceive, interpret, and judge artworks. Critics tend to focus more on modern and contemporary art from cultures close to their own. I selected the artwork created during the Renaissance. Renaissance art is marked by a gradual shift from the abstract forms of the medieval period to the representational forms of 15th century. Subjects grow from mostly biblical scenes to include portraits, episodes from classical religion, and events from contemporary life. The four most famous Renaissance artists are Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. Leonardo da Vinci Leonardo di Ser Piero da Vinci was an Italian polemat of the High Renaissance who was active as a painter, draftsman, engineer, scientist, theorist, sculptor, and architect. Second is Michelangelo di Lodovico Bonarotti Simoni, known simply as Michelangelo, was an Italian sculptor, painter, architect, and poet of the High Renaissance. The third one is Raffaello Sanzio da Urbino, better known as Raphael, was an Italian painter and architect of the High Renaissance. His work is admired for its clarity of form, ease of composition, and visual achievement of the Neoplatonic idea of human grandeur. And the last one is Donato de Niccolo di Pietro Bardi, better known as Donatello, who was a Florentine sculptor of the Renaissance period. Born in Florence, he studied classical sculpture and used this to develop a complete Renaissance style in sculpture. Critic A detailed analysis and assessment of something especially a literary, philosophical, or political theory. There are four steps of critic. First, describe. Second, analyze. Third, interpret. Fourth, evaluation. The art that I will be criticizing is the art of Leonardo da Vinci. This artwork is called Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa is an oil painting by Italian artist, inventor, and writer Leonardo da Vinci, likely completed in 1506. The piece features a portrait of a seated woman set against an imaginary landscape. In addition to being one of the most famous paintings, it is also the most valuable. Indeed, the Mona Lisa is a very realistic portrait. The subject's softly sculptural face shows Leonardo's skillful handling of fumato, an artistic technique that uses subtle gradations of light and shadow to model form, and shows his understanding of the skull beneath the skin. Everybody is fascinated with the smile, says author Seymour Reed. Michelangelo was intrigued, called it an ironic smile. Other people have described it as sly, sublime, enticing, mysterious, repellent, witty, scornful, airy, magnetic, sensual, remote, all wise, and ice cold. The Mona Lisa exemplifies Leonardo's contribution to the art of oil painting, namely his mastery of fumato. This painterly technique involves the smooth, almost imperceptible transition from one color to another by means of ultra-subtle tonal gradations. It is a visual representation of the idea of happiness suggested by the word Gioconda. In Italian, Leonardo made this notion of happiness the central motif of the portrait. It is this notion that makes the work such an ideal. centuries after Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa 1503 to 1519 the portrait hangs behind the bulletproof glass within the Louvre Museum and 
draws thousands of jostling spectators each day. It is the most famous painting in the world and yet, when viewers manage to see the artwork up close, they are likely to be baffled by the small subdued portrait of an ordinary woman. She's dressed modestly in a translucent veil, dark robes, and no jewelry.